Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial where I will show you how you can specify or how you can create the dynamic date levels which you can pass it on to your end user. So what I meant by that is so here if you see the date level which are present as a filters I can select year and my visualization is changed to year. If I select month I, the visualization is changed to month and uh, if I select day my visualization is changed to day so how you can pass it on this information or this power to the end user where they can select whatever they want based on these different date levels so for that the number one thing is what I have done I've created this date level field so if I just go here and click on edit you will see that I have given the name as date level. This is a string which I have with date type is a string. For this parameter, uh, the current value by default, whatever I have selected here is the current value. And then the value is here in the small year, month and day for the function which I will going to specify here. So actual value is present and the display value is present here where I have formatted the display as capital year capital Y in the year, capital M here in the month and capital D here in the day. So that's what I'm showing it to my user so that it looks good. And in the back end, it all small value. So if I just click cancel, the second thing is you will going to create a calculated field. If you don't know, you need to come here and click, click on create calculated field. And the formula you will going to specify is this. So name of the calculated field will be the dynamic date level or whatever you want to choose the main function which is this so what it is doing is based on the date level that means either day or month or year it is picking up that level and then choosing uh, then you know providing it to the order date and overall based on the output that is coming is further formatted as date so that we can give it back to the use the visualization so once we click ok and bring this dynamic date to here what you will going to get an output is something like this and in this case this won't work right so if your output is like this which is a default condition when you will pull the dynamic date level to here what you need to do is make sure you change this first to exact date but now it is it has become the continuous date so what we were going to choose is the discrete and then when I will select my output is selected here now what you can do next as an exercise here I have specified the year month and day you need to specify the quarter and week as two different two more uh, uh, part or the two more date level the quarter and the uh, and the uh, week here in the date level and see whether you are able to change this or not in case of any problem let me know in the comments also if if anything else that you have in the mind and want to ask you know don't uh, hesitate and put there in the comments. I'll I'll respond to you. So thank you.